And a lot of power out in the western portion of Carroll County after those storms moved uh, right over the river from Madison, Indiana. And that's where we find our Jordan Valines this morning. She is live in Milton. Uh, I was there yesterday, Jordan, in the late uh, evening hours. And um, yeah, there, I mean, there were trailers that were actually tossed right into the Ohio River. Yeah, Frank, you know, I was I was watching watching your coverage yesterday. And I mean, again, once you've kind of really got your feet on the ground here, you can see the extent of the damage, because really, when the sun started to come up, that's what we were able to see. If you take a look around, it's almost like there's not anything that's not touched. I mean, even here, kind of hanging from what was the town sign here and then the Kentucky sign, the welcome into Kentucky sign that's just been flipped and twisted right behind me um, and you know a lot of town markers which are just you know tattered and thrown around there's insulation all over the place as well and now the cleanup is at least beginning the cleanup in the beginning very early phases Frank, I know you were saying that there is a number, I mean, dozens of structures that have been damaged, this being one of them right there. That brick home, they already put a tarp over it, and they've actually been working so far this morning to at least hopefully get some of that roofing repaired. And you can really do, if you do a 360, you're able to see damages, damage at all angles, truly here. This gas station, obviously closed. People have been picking up tattered pieces of that as well. Uh, right next to this car wash, you can see they're working to replace the roof there as well. And Frank, I know you and I were communicating earlier because they have closed down Kentucky 36. That would be right there along River Road where you saw a lot of that damage yesterday. And then again, like I said, it is truly damage in the round here because we're talking about a 360 degree scope. I mean, the tornado, there is no doubt that it came through, really whipped things up. And now this morning, what we're seeing is just kind of a, a tattered mess. And I can tell you this. I've spoken with with some people, some shop owners, uh, also some women who usually take this walk every single morning. And I can say that the overall feeling, it, it's kind of a feeling of being stunned, right? They're waking up and they know that, you know, now the, the damage, obviously, yesterday in those overnight hours, now the cleanup can begin. But that's certainly a process in and of itself, you know, and hopefully no serious injuries as we move through the day today. Um, but, but it's quite clear there hasn't been a place that we've been this morning walking around with my photographer and I where we haven't seen damage. It is it is truly kind of as far as the eye can see. Like I said, insulation and trees, power out, uh, power outages, electricity still out here this morning. But again, those cleanup efforts certainly underway uh, on this uh, on this Friday morning. What I would honestly consider a, a bleak Friday morning for sure. And just within the last, what, 12, 13 hours, the amount of uh, damage that's been cleaned up, I mean, that's still there. But, you know, it, I mean, those roads were covered with stuff yesterday when I was over there. And going down 36, they said that's going to be at least uh, about 16 to 12 hours of, uh, of being shut down because all the, uh, a lot of the trees down there the have there. really uh, shut down that, that uh, thoroughfare. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad that you brought that up, too, because that's something that we were pointing out earlier in terms of all of the siding and everything. All of that has nails in it. Right. So that's why they've shut down several of this area, because even when we were trying to walk this morning, you couldn't really see there was a lot of ponding and all of these nails kind of scattered about, too. So obviously that could be certainly very dangerous for folks who are working on those uh, those cleanup efforts this morning. So, yeah. you know, something to, to keep an eye on slow and steady. And that's you make a good point that second round last night came through and it, you know it blew a lot of the debris that was already on the ground right and just spread that stuff everywhere and hopefully you guys are safe walking around there because you just never know the glass the nails and anything that was broken overnight yeah jordan thank you appreciate it and what was uh, ethan saying just across the uh, river from jordan yeah so hanover